Today's Daily Dose of Weird News is brought to you by MyPillow. Get two premium MyPillows for the price of one using the promo code WEIRD when you visit MyPillow.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. On Monday this week, the very first driver's license ever issued to a woman was given out in Saudi Arabia. Jeez! Next thing you know, they're going to want to own a car. Turn on your TV during prime time and you'll inevitably see a load of celebrity faces, ranging from Oscar winners to, hey, wasn't that the guy in that show we watched that one time? Well, attaching a star to a brand is something that advertisers have been doing for many decades. But science says that people just don't care and that it may have a negative impact on the brand that the celebrity's pushing. Which means you're actually much better off having an average Joe pitch your project. So please contact my agent if you're interested in hiring me to endorse your product. Kim Jong-un wants the U.S. to pay his hotel bill for the upcoming summit with Donald Trump. And that's got to be a slap in the face to Trump, isn't it? Seeing as Kim won't be staying at one of his hotels. Bill Clinton is insisting he does not owe Monica Lewinsky an apology and says he is the victim because the legal fallout left him $16 million in debt. Yeah, exactly what you'd expect from a sociopath. A sociopath currently worth $80 million living in a house valued at over $2 million. Lindsay Lohan has launched her own jewelry line. The jewelry is very impressive and desirable in the beginning, but then quickly loses its luster and longs for the days when it was relevant. An Ohio man called 911 recently to report that a pig was following him. Which is a really stupid thing to do if you think about it. I mean, one of the derogatory terms for police officers is pigs. So you're calling 911 to have a pig sent to investigate you being followed by a pig. There's a group of White House staffers who reportedly compose some of President Trump's tweets to intentionally include grammatical and spelling errors in an effort to mimic Trump's style. Okay, you know what? No matter whose account it is and whether or not you use spell check, whatever, if, if you're paying people to compose tweets for you, you are way too concerned about Twitter. Junk food – bad for your waistline, bad for your relationship. It may be fun to wolf down a value meal with your sweetie, but what follows might not be pretty. Researchers discovered that meals high in saturated fats resulted in greater increase in stress hormones and more inflammation during heated discussions, especially if those discussions revolve around being upset that your significant other is fat and wasting too much money on junk food. Speaking of food, lunch with Warren Buffett was put to auction the other night and had a winning bid of $3.3 million. I wonder if that includes the tip. Good news for Sheboygan, Wisconsin. A repeat offender who deliberately clogged dozens of public toilets in Deland Park has finally been caught and arrested. For over two years, the 33-year-old man would stuff empty soft drink bottles into the toilets, leaving them completely blocked and unusable. Police were tipped off by a citizen and finally caught the guy. Police said that he had damaged a woman's bathroom at a Michigan community center at least 30 times in the past two years. Well, you know, you'd think a man entering the women's restroom might have been their first clue that something was suspicious. In England, some new parents regret to inform us that their baby's very first word was Alexa, which is adorable until you find out later that the baby accidentally ordered a rush delivery of an exotic kitty cat to your door. Hmm, I don't know that one. Shut up. A report says Joel Olstein's church has a $90 million annual budget although that amount cuts in half if you don't count the hair care products. Keep listening, there's more weird news to come. So the folks at MyPillow said, hey, Darren, can you try out a MyPillow and let us know what you think? Well, I was skeptical. I mean, it's a pillow. But what did I have to lose, right? Well, I'll tell you what I lost. Interrupted sleep. No more folding the pillow in half. No more flat, lifeless pillows. No more using two pillows to get comfortable. It changed the way I sleep. So I'm letting you know about it. You need my pillow. Well, not actually my pillow. You need your own my pillow. It stays cool all night long. No more waking up at 3 a.m. to flip to the cool side of the pillow. It keeps its shape. No more reshaping your pillow in the middle of the night. It comes with a 60-day money-back guarantee, so you can try it, and if you don't like it, fine, return it. 60 days to try it out. 
And if you do keep it, well, my pillow comes with a 10-year warranty. Do you have a pillow that comes with a 10-year warranty? I don't think so. You can toss a my pillow into your washer and dryer and it's like new again. Try doing that with your current pillow. Well, right now they have a special deal just for my weirdo family members. You can get two premium my pillows for one low price. Just go to mypillow.com and enter the promo code WEIRD. That's mypillow.com and then use the promo code WEIRD. Or you can call 1 800 945 7192. That's 800 945 7192 or mypillow.com. Either way, be sure to use that promo code WEIRD. Could orange juice provide a bigger boost than energy drinks? Korean office workers who were given a high dose of intravenous vitamin C were less tired than those who received a placebo, especially if they were low in C before the treatment. Well, yeah, it's intravenous vitamin C. Um, give me intravenous Red Bull, I can guarantee there's going to be a difference. Nevada has introduced syringe vending machines to fight the heroin crisis there. So you're fighting heroin by giving people easier access to tools used to do heroin. Oh yeah, I don't see any problems with that plan. President Ronald Reagan's daughter, Patty Davis, says that her dad would be appalled and heartbroken at the Trump presidency. Hey, what a coincidence! So are the Trump haters. In Chicago, a 48-year-old woman fell from the Belmont Red and Brown Line train platform onto the tracks. And it wasn't exactly her fault. It seems she made the mistake of asking the man to stop urinating off the platform, and he responded by punching her in the face. She got his photo on her phone, and as the exchange escalated, the man threatened to kill her, she says, and added, As I walked away, I felt this hit in the back of my head and I fell onto the tracks. I immediately rolled over to see if there was a train coming. A couple of bystanders jumped down to help and she was pulled back up onto the platform. She suffered a head injury and was later transported to Illinois Masonic Hospital where she said that she received staples in her head and a soft cast for her hand. Detectives are investigating and searching for a black male 30 to 40 years old, 5 feet 9 to 5 feet 11 inches tall, and weighing 170 to 190 pounds. He was wearing a black jacket and a camouflage Cubs baseball hat. See? A White Sox fan would never have done this. What strikes fear in the hearts of men? Proposing to their sweethearts. In fact, a recent survey shows that popping the question ranks just below swimming with sharks. The idea of proposing was more frightening to men than jumping out of airplanes, going for a job interview, or wearing an opponent's jersey at a sporting event. In the final analysis, swimming with sharks ranked scariest among 28% of men polled, while proposing came in a close second with 23%. Which makes perfect sense, I mean, because either way, you are at a great risk of getting your head bitten off. Johnny Depp's emaciated appearance lately has fans worried about his health. And I'm not buying his excuse that he's just going method to play one of the skeletons in an upcoming Pirates of the Caribbean sequel. Australia's supermarket giants Woolworths and Coles have banned plastic straws and plastic wrap from 80 different fruits and vegetables. Well, who uses a straw to eat fruits and vegetables? A shocking report – all Fruit Loops taste the same. Foodbeast.com recently conducted a blind taste test to determine if consumers could distinguish the difference between the brightly colored rings of sweet goodness found in Fruit Loops and found that each color was exactly the same flavor. Not content on just ruining Fruit Loops for generations to come, they also used the same methodology to discredit the disguising colors behind Trix and Fruity Pebbles. Up next, they find out if Girl Scout cookies are made with real Girl Scouts. Aaron Rodgers has been given an honorary doctorate from the Medical College of Wisconsin. You can get an honorary degree from a medical school? Does that mean you can operate on patients? Or only honorary patients? Kanye West confirms on his new album that he is bipolar, which comes as a surprise to absolutely no one. There is a highly contagious, little-known virus that has killed all of its victims so far in India. I just thought I'd tell you in case you're bored and have absolutely nothing to worry about. There is something romantic, historic, and often mysterious about a wine cellar. Now, drop a wine cellar in a funeral home and, well, then suddenly it's creepy. 
or does it make the visitation more fun? While Hodge's Funeral Home in North Naples, Florida is, as far as we know, the first wine cellar at a funeral parlor in the entire country. And at least this way, you know that something will get better as it ages once it's put underground. A new report says that the divorce rate of people 50 and older has doubled since the 1990s. You know, that might be due to the longer life expectancies of adults. Till death do us part used to mean kicking the bucket in your late 40s. Well, I didn't know I'd have to live with you this long. If you like what you're hearing, please leave a review of the podcast and share a link to this episode on your social media. And tell a couple of friends about the podcast and suggest they subscribe too. For DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!